Hi everyone, this is Luke again with uh, yet another ePlan P8 uh, video. And today I wanted to show you a, a situation that I've come across uh, today actually at a customer's place. And uh, we were trying to assign uh, basically a coil uh, a contactor parts data to a coil in a schematic. And uh, what we what we noticed is that on the uh, auxiliary part that is uh, associated to our main part, there is no part data. As you can see here, all that section is white. So what's going on is um, we're assigning. Uh, we we did a device selection on that coil. So let me show you. I'm just going to delete those parts and apply and uh, device selection and here I can see my um, my coil and it's accessory part which is an auxiliary contact block here at the bottom I it seems that every everything is okay I have all my green check boxes I say okay I see my parts in my grid but unfortunately on the auxiliary part there is no parts data there is some parts reference data, but no parts data. So what this indicates me is that the the parts data is not transferred from the, the parts database into my project. And this will cause problems later on. Uh, for example, when you want to insert that uh, part on your 2D mounting panel. The reason for that is uh, very simple, actually, once you know where to look for it. In my parts management, if I look at my main component, which is the contactor, and then look at the accessory list for that contactor, here I can see the part number for my auxiliary contact block, you will notice that the variant here is empty. And this is uh, probably due to a uh, operation error, somebody deleted it or whatever reason. If that field is empty, then the parts data will not be transferred to the project. So basically, uh, all parts in our database are at variant one. It could be another number, but uh, Let's just say that for 99% of the, the applications, the variant is always one. So by filling out that information, applying it, closing, and then synchronizing my project with the parts database, I can go back in there, delete my parts, apply, redo a device selection, select my contactor, Oops, it, there's one too many here. Okay, now everything is good. I say okay. Oops, hold on, let me redo that. Apply, device selection. Siemens. Okay. And now I can see that on my accessory part, the parts data has been transferred to the project. So I just thought uh, that would be some good information to share with uh, other ePlan P8 users just in case you run into this uh, situation. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, until later, take care, bye.